Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I'm, I'm so thankful for everything he does for us. And I'm not going to talk very long. You, you have my word on that. But I, I believe in giving credit where credit is due. You do something good, you want to be able to say that it was yours. Um, you do something bad, and when you're growing up and you're a kid, and your mama's going to get you, she's... Uh, uh, just a joke, but that's why I spent so much time at the at the dentist because <laughs> I, I never really had a handle on being able to fess up to my to my crime, so to speak. But uh, I'm just kidding. She's a great mother. Uh, love her to death and pray for her because she's got a surgery coming up in a couple weeks. Um, and but I just want to talk to you uh, just for a moment uh, with that being said giving credit where credit is due like I said I believe in giving credit where it's supposed to be and we as a nation as a world are under attack right now and many people have many different theories as to why this is happening I have one the devil. The Bible says he came to kill, steal, and destroy. And that is exactly what he is doing in the midst of us with this virus. Everything is shutting down. People's lives are being destroyed. People are losing their lives. With All of it is tragic. And um, it is all at the hands of Satan. And that is where the saints of God need to get down upon our knees and start praying and pleading the blood of Jesus Christ over this situation and we will see it disappear. Uh, they can do all these uh, different scientific things, which is great and, and um, you know, some of it has good validity to it and some of it doesn't, but the main source of the cure is Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And um, you plead the blood over the situation. You plead the blood over your family. You plead the blood every time you go outside and uh, go to the Walmart, which is now being closed down for certain hours. I don't know. But take care of the situation. Take the situation out of your hands and put them in the nail scarred hand now you may not agree with what I'm saying you may think I'm a crazy old man which some of people might agree with you but what I'm telling you is the truth the Bible says in the last days there would be famine diseases and there would be uh, earthquakes and diverse places we are seeing all these things transpire right in front of our eyes and we have to be very conscientious of what is happening give credit where credit is due the devil is the one doing this why are we starting to point fingers at each other why are we starting to attack each other as um, a as a country a and um, trying to come against each other when the main source is the devil he's trying to steal kill and destroy he's trying to come as a thief in the night the Bible says the Bible describes him as a fox it describes him as nothing more than this horrible manipulator sly he, he comes in under the radar nobody ever sees him that's exactly how this happened, huh? Under the radar. It, it started out one case, two case, three case, and um, and I'm I'm not being rude because I, I feel so terrible for anybody, you know, being affected by. It. I really do. My heart goes out, and I'm not trying to make light of the situation. I'm trying to bring hope under the situation. There is no hope unless there's hope in Jesus Christ. That is 
your hope. Give credit where credit is due. It's Satan. Plain and simple. Case closed. The jury's been dismissed. Like, like I said, I'm not preaching. I, I'm just talking really to you. It, the verdict has been read. You need to give credit where the credit is due. And the credit goes to Satan. Now, even with that said, I will acknowledge the things that he has done. But I won't give him an ounce of respect. I won't give him an ounce of trust. I won't give him anything. I don't even spell his name with a capital D. Because I don't want him to think that I have any source of acknowledgement in any way, shape, or form to him. I cannot stand his trickery, his deception, his evil doings. And that's where it comes upon us as the saints of God to be able to not only plead the blood over the situation, but get to get down on our knees and really spend some time there praying for our brothers and sisters who are fighting these battles who who, who may not even know the answer and what's going on they, they may think it's just a physical battle let me tell you the the devil he um not only attacks you physically he he attacks you mentally he attacks you spiritually and it is hard to stay strong when you are being constantly attacked and when you feel like well, you feel like garbage, you know, you, you have the flu or something, you feel horrible, and you're not really pleasant to be around, ain't nobody that's sick gonna be nice, I mean, everybody's gonna be a little bit crabby, so we need to make intercession for our brothers and sisters, because they can't make intercession for themselves right now, hold them up. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Give credit where credit is due. God bless each and every one of you. Pray for one another. Oh, God, pray for one another. I love you. I really do. Um, for some reason, the comments have been disabled. I don't know why. Uh, I've been trying to figure it out. They said it's related to um, the current situation with the virus I don't know but uh, I, I apologize because um, I like hearing from people share love one another pray for one another and remember all you have to do is call upon the name of the Lord and he's right there for you